So guys, Star Trek and Scandal, it really doesn't go together all that much, does it? Thankfully, as Star Trek fans, we want to be proud and we want people to look at our love with admiration, with respect. But Star Trek is not immune to Scandal. It is not empty of very controversial and scandalous things. And even though there are certainly more, this is my top three Star Trek scandals. So Stephen Collins, actor, Star Trek The Motion Picture, playing Captain Willard Deckard. But he wouldn't be Captain for long because Admiral James T. Kirk comes along, demotes him because he has to take control of the Enterprise because V'ger is on its way, right? And so Decker is like, you know, I don't agree with this. I don't want this to uh, be your ship. And you took this opportunity. But he is now Commander Decker. So Stephen Collins was the only actor that director, Robert Wise, the director of the motion picture, cast. And in one of the wikis, he says how every young actor in Hollywood auditioned for the part of Decker. And he was benefiting from the fact that he was completely unfamiliar with Star Trek. He just wanted to meet Robert Wise, the director. During the production, DeForest Kelly's dressing room was next to Collins, and the older actor became his mentor during the production. So what was Stephen Collins' scandal? Well, in 2014, the New York City Police Department began investigating him after an audio tape leaked to the media revealing a male voice purported to be that of Collins. This is right from the official wiki. Uh, he admitted to past sexual abuse of a minor under the age of 14. And then finally, in December 2014, several months later, he was interviewed by the magazine People and admitted to inappropriate sexual conduct with three female minors in 1973, 1982, and 1994. So I'd say most fans love Gates McFadden, who portrays Dr. Beverly Crusher on Star Trek The Next Generation, but on the producer, on the production staff of Next Generation, there was someone who was not a fan of Gates McFadden, and that was producer Maurice Hurley, who fired Gates McFadden after the first season of Next Generation. Now, it should be noted that Maurice Hurley, this producer, actually suggested firing the entire Next Generation cast. He wanted them all gone. So I guess his vision would have been for the second season after the first, somehow the Enterprise D explodes with Picard and Riker and Data and all the uh, you know Next Generation cast, and then they would repopulate, they would find a new... Uh, you know, another galaxy class, another, uh, you know, enterprise and find new actors, which to me is pretty ridiculous. I can't imagine that. So knowing that Maurice Hurley felt, felt that way about the entire crew, I think it's a little bit uh, more, you know, it's more clear and a lot less damning that he didn't like Gates McFadden and fired her because he wanted everybody gone. So Deep Space Nine fans know and love Jadzia Dax, played by Terry Farrell. And we know that she left in season six or was, or was killed off. And we all thought these, you know, fans thought, oh, she, she left sort of of her own volition because she wanted to be in a sitcom with uh, Ted Danson called Becker, a CBS sitcom. So Terry Farrell wanted to leave, but she wanted to still be a recurring character on Deep Space Nine. This is from Comic Book Resources. Uh, however, Iris Stephen Bear didn't want to kill off the character. The decision was made by the studio after Terry Farrell made the decision to step away from being a series regular. So, again, she wanted to do a compromise or a bargain. She would come back sort of like a guy in or a row, a Q, six, seven, whatever episodes. But the studio was like, no, if you want to leave, we, you're not going to come back. We're going to kill you off. But the real scandal, which would come out later in a book by Mark A. Altman and Edward Gross, The 50-Year Mission, The Next 25 Years, from Next Generation to J.J. Abrams, 
and in that book, Terry Farrell explains why she left DS9. Quote, the problems with my leaving were with Rick Berman, Farrell explained. In my opinion, he's just very misogynistic. He'd comment on your bra size, not being voluptuous. That stuff was so intense, especially the first couple of years. So she did leave of her own volition, but then later in this book and in subsequent interviews, she said it was the uh, conflict with Rick Berman. So there you go. So a scandal, sadly, that affected all the fans because Dax was such an important and great character. And the symbiote, you know, the trill was put into Esri Dax. And she was a fine character, but I think many fans still miss Jedzia. There you go. Scandals of Star Trek. Not many. Those are my top three. What are yours? Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're subscribing. See you soon.